Joining me right now is Pennsylvania Congressman Dan Muser. He's a member of the Foreign Affairs and Small Business Committees. Congressman, thanks very much for being here. Uh, assess where we are on this war on Ukraine and the U.S.'s response. Uh, very nice being with you, of course, Marie. Appreciate it. Well, you know what? I think Putin knows at this point that he can't win. But at the same time, Putin doesn't want to lose. Ukraine has no choice but to win. So we, the United States, we must provide what is needed for the U Ukraines to not just maintain themselves and sustain themselves, but start to get even, even that much more uh, offensive. You know, this has turned into a, a war of attrition, perhaps, on both sides. Uh, uh, Putin's just trying to beat Maripol, for instance, into, into submission, and maybe the other cities would follow after that. And, uh, and it's not going to happen. Uh, that's why our humanitarian aid and, and the uh, lethal weapons need to continue. You know, we talk about three and a half million people have left, um, have fleed Ukraine, but there's 40 million people still there, and they want to keep their country. Yeah. Well, and it's had an, an incredible impact on uh, the global oil markets. I know you're trying to push through a bill that would approve construction of the Keystone uh, XL pipeline. Democrats continue to block it. Tell me about that, right. because the climate, the climate change agenda is the number one agenda for this administration, no matter what. Right. Look what you heard from the Securities and Exchange Commission yesterday. We reported this ahead of the SEC's proposals yesterday, these requirements for all publicly traded companies to report information on climate change risks and emissions. They even want to know the, uh, the climate threats for customers of publicly traded customers. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, Putin's much to blame here, but Putin did not cause this energy crisis that exists virtually worldwide and certainly for our country right now. Biden did that. And you're right. Just the other day, for the third time, every Democrat voted down a uh, oil independence bill for the United States, energy independence, um, which would include the Keystone Pipeline and other measures that would give a boost to our domestic energy production. You know, the, the, the inflation that's being caused is largely due to the continued Biden assault on, on our domestic energy. I mean, they're literally choosing Venezuela over Pennsylvania. They're, they're choosing Tehran over Texas. So, so yeah. we've, that needs to be reversed. It's all part of an inverted policy, and it's, and it's green-based, and it's woke. It's not, it's not realistic. It's not about results, Maria, and it's very, very dangerous. Yeah. You know, this left hates pipelines. Yeah. They hate them because pipelines have a have yeah. a sustaining effect to them, an infrastructure where there's some staying power to it. Yet it's it's our yeah. it's our national security. Yeah, and and yet, you know, even with oil prices where they are, this administration continues to dig in on their climate agenda. Yesterday, we told everybody about this new requirement that companies are going to have to disclose all emissions, including those from suppliers and affiliates, as well as from customers who use their product. This is often related, yeah. referred to as Scope 3 emissions. We, 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 we reported this yesterday before the SEC came out and did it, and in fact, they did it yesterday. But i got to get your take on the border as well, because I spoke with one of my border sources yesterday. He, he sent me this video from a border-related incident that took place along the border involving a suspected cartel member pointing an AK-47 at our uh, Texas Border Patrol uh, helicopter. Look at this. Um, a deadly gunfight breaks out between cartel members and the Mexican military. Five suspects were reportedly killed, and we see the cartel member pointing his AK-47 gun at the Border Patrol helicopter. The Texas Department of Public Safety is what he's pointing his AK-47 at. I reported a couple of months ago there was a major merger, the Gulf Cartel, absor uh, uh, not, the larger cartel absorbing the Gulf Cartel, and I said it's going to get much more dangerous because they've got this kind of equipment, AK-47s. Joe Biden still is not acknowledging the border. It's unbelievable. It could be the worst catastrophe of this Biden administration, and it goes from A to Z. You've been there several times, reported deeply on it. I've been there. This is turning into a this is not, this is a battle, perhaps a war that it's turned into that we've allowed to fester, like this administration does, uh, victims of, of, of wishful thinking, 
And yes, the uh, the border crisis needs to be completely addressed. Thank you. Yeah, Congressman, thank you very much for your leadership. Dan Muser joining us.